Hey guys, it's Damien here. The last time I made a video on my motorcycle, we were riveting rivet nuts on the bottom side of my frame to install the battery plate with the right angle bracket right underneath that. But today I wanted to go over with you guys on these batteries that I've pretty much completed and assembled. So the last time I actually made a video on these batteries, I was actually, I had some of these balance leads pretty much installed, but the last two were missing. I had to put one on the negative terminal and a cable or, or a wire for the positive terminal. Now, once I had all that completed, I actually ended up using masking tape for the time being to mask off all these terminal plates as well as the wires themselves because, well, you definitely don't want those touching because you could short it and you'll just create a ton of sparks, something you definitely don't want to do with a battery of this size. So my next step was to use Captain Tape to tape over all these terminal plates so that they wouldn't touch or make even bigger sparks because Captain Tape is pretty much an ESD tape that protects and insulates electrical components such as this battery. So I ended up taping up the back side first. I had to create a good method when taping this up. So I ended up starting with the center section and I ended up then I ended up taping up the top and bottom. So I ended up making some slits. So I folded up the sides and then covered it with the top side. For the front side of the battery where all the wires were coming off, I just had to make a cut so that the wire would come through easily through the uh, captain tape and there would be no interference there. So after I ended up finishing up taping up these batteries, I ended up buying a bunch of these balance leads. They're JST 6S leads because each of my battery packs are going to be configured in a 6S configuration. So I ended up taking off all that duct tape off the wires and then ended up soldering them one by one. And for visual purposes, I did keep the red wire for the positive end and then the black wire for the terminal plate for the negative end. So that way, if I have these cells completely covered up, I know what size is which. So while I was actually soldering this up, I accidentally shorted one of these wires because I didn't even realize it. But yeah, you gotta be very careful when it, you have these leads completely exposed. So after these leads were completely done and built for each battery pack, I ended up hooking it up to my eye charger and at first I tried to store my batteries and that wasn't really helping too much. The cells were completely imbalanced. So I had to make sure that all the cell voltages were completely even. And the best way to do that when I was, when I was doing it is I ended up charging the battery so that the lowest cell would be at least 3.7 volts or higher so that once it hit that mark, I would be able to hit balance on my eye charger. And once I hit that setting, it would just balance all the cells to the lowest cell voltage of the entire pack. So that ended up taking a lot longer than expected. But since it is a larger battery, it took about six to 10 plus hours. Now, the reason I'm using balance leads is because I will be using my smart charger to charge these batteries, where in other cases and other electric vehicles that most people would build or cars, more motorcycles, whatever they may be, they tend to use a BMS module, which is a battery management system, where install, instead of a balance lead, you would install a this module and you would solder these leads onto that BMS module, which would then be hooked up to a onboard charger and with that type of configuration having a bms and a charger built into your motorcycle all you would have to do is plug in to the wall and it would just charge and balance and do everything for you i'm not going to have that type of configuration at the moment i just want to get the motorcycle running so i will just be using my smart charger so if you guys have any sort of questions on any of this stuff, please just comment below. 
If you guys do like this type of content, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.